Hello again and welcome to the fourth video in our OBS tutorial series. Today we will be covering basic stream info tickers, such as recent follower, donation, and subscriber. The process seems somewhat tricky at first, but it's actually very straightforward. We'll be using a program from Muxy called the Muxy Ticker. You can find the link to this program in the description below. Once the Muxy Ticker is installed, open it up and connect it to your Twitch account. You can see mine's connected right here in the top right. If you don't do that, the program won't be able to pull the information. That's very important. Once you have your OBS and your Muxy ticker open and ready to rock, let's get to work. Uh, once again, we'll be using the Ocean Breeze pre-made pack. That's definitely one of my favorites. So I'm just going to re-add that webcam overlay here. Title that Ocean Webcam. And we're going to browse that file and get that up in here. I think I've got it saved to my desktop right here. Yes, I do. And that is under that right there. Perfect. So now that we've got that open, we'll put that down here in the bottom left, just so we've got access to it later on, because we're going to be placing our follower and donation right there. Um, so now that we can see it, let's add the information. Tickers are simple. They're just text sources that read from a file that automatically updates in line with what happens on your stream. So in this case, uh, it's donations and followers specifically for this overlay. Now, we're just going to click the plus, just like any other source that we add. Go to text text GDI plus. A new window appears allowing you to name the source, so we're going to call that Recent Follower 3 because I've got so many for these videos. Um, the only setting that's important in here is Read From File for right now. So once that you click that, click Browse, and you locate Muxy. So right now I've got mine under Local Disk Users, Zach D, and Muxy. Now a bunch of text files pop up. And the only one that we're worrying about, because we're putting in our follower, our most recent follower. So we can hit M, and let's go to most recent follower. And you open that up. Now you can see my most recent follower. And on your screen, it would be yours. But that's all it is. That's all you got to do. It's a piece of cake. Uh, you can change the font. You can underline it, bold it, do whatever you want to do. It's up to you. The world is your oyster. Uh, we're just going to click OK. And now we can see it hanging out right there. I just made it gigantic, and I flipped it around. So um, I'm just going to bring it down here so we can see it a little better. And you can resize it to however you'd like. You can underline bold, just like I said. It's all yours. Um, and that's really it. It's very straightforward. So long as your recent follower is sitting above your webcam overlay, you are in the clear. Your follower will update automatically so long as Muxy Ticker is open and updating your files. I think it updates every five minutes on the dot after you launch the program. Um, but again, it's just all layers. So like I said, just make sure it sits on top. Uh, it's a piece of cake. And once you've got it all set where you want it, you're ready to rock. So... Uh, any other any other tickers that you're looking to add, such as subscriber or donation in this case, or whatever it may be, could be recent cheer, something like that. You just do the same thing. You rinse and repeat that process. Go to your source, add a text, browse for the file, locate it, and set it up. It really is very easy. Probably one of the more simple aspects of streaming, but uh, tends to get a bad rap for being too difficult. But we just we just simplified that for you, um, and that's it. You are all done. You stream and machine. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Be sure to keep winning, and I will catch you next time.